in this video i will cover time intelligent functions in power bi we have a long list of time intelligence function you can see this left side around 35 to 40 functions we have under time intelligence functions and all the time intelligence functions will work over the time period so we will cover a few today like these three we will cover today and and these three opening balance here these three this three for opening and this three for this three for closing we will see six functions in this session so i have here open my power bi desktop and i have a model already imported and make the relationship but before going with the time intelligence function we make sure we have a separate date table mark as a date table i have a date table and connected with the various tables available in this model so going this year now i want to calculate all six functions which i showed you a minute ago so before going to have a calculation we have to create a separate measurement table so that your every calculation will have under that separate table so that you can find it easily so making a separate table click enter data you will name the your table i am naming the table as a measure now click load your measure table which i have created just a minute ago we show under the data pane now you can see here the measure table is appear now in this just right click select the measure table just right click click the new measure you gonna use six function which i showed you a minute ago first opening balance by year so write opening balance by year just select by year now i want to show the expression expression meaning i am going to calculate a calculation and which will be show by year opening so i am going to calculate sum of total sales and so i am here using sum x x meaning going to multiply every quantity with the unit price and then have a grand total so in sales table order quantity multiply the unit price now from here to here it is the total sales now going to use a date table so that i have a opening sales for the year that's it hit enter now i have opening sales for the year now copy the same measurement i create a new measure like closing balance by year so paste here adjust replace this one as a closing year now hit enter now i have a closing balance also now you can delete this one which was available as a column 1 i don't need this and for the same again going to create a new measure for the month so opening balance by month paste the same 
just select by month hit enter now again create a new measure closing balance closing balance by month paste the same and just replace is closing by month hit enter in the same way create a new measure now i am going to create opening balance by quarter paste the same now replace opening by quarter hit enter now again create a new measure now i am going to closing balance by quarter now paste the same and replace here closing by quarter hit enter now i have used all the six functions here and using all the six functions i have created all the calculation closing balance and opening balance by year by month and by quarter you can check drag a table from here in the workspace area you can select the date by year you can see year is given as a grand total because power bi assuming that it is a whole number but i don't want this as a whole number i want to convert his date its data type so just select the table and till select the date table and now select the column and you can see here whole number is given as a data type so just drag this drop down and select the date now it's gonna convert it as a text now drag again here now you can see we have year now what we have calculated calculated opening balance by year just drag this one closing balance by year just drag this one see see 21762 is the closing balance of 17 and this is the opening balance for the next year in the same way 23775 is the closing balance by for 18 and the same is the opening for the next year in the same way for 19 and is come as a opening for the 20 you can check here now you can make this one now you satisfy that value is correct so you go to create a graph just click this stack column chart icon as you can see here if you want that legend is not visible then you select the same graph and click this one your format part and then make it off if you want to have y axis of x axis of you can make this one if you want again this one axis is on and now you want to have a data level on this so you have data level option here in the format pane just click on now you can see you have the data level in the graph in the same way i am going to create directly a stack column chart by opening by month and closing by month but i have not drag here a year so drag this one as a year to the x axis but see here is the same because i have dragged here year so i have to drag here the month because my calculation is the opening balance by month and closing balance by month so you can drag this one here like this now 
you can arrange this like as if you want to filter that i want to see only the 2019 or 20 2018 so just select this one icon which is a slicer and this is used for your filtering section now drag here here and drag to the filter part now you can see you have a filter ready now you can select 2018 now is first graph you see 2018 and the next graph you also seen for 2018 but this is by month because i have calculation by the month you can now drag this one like this if you want to have a quarter for the same so just drag this one make a space here and click this one and drag a month here and select opening balance by quarter and closing balance by quarter you can see this is your or you can make the stack chart this is by quarter if you want to have 2019 then select only 2019 your every chart will update whatever choice you gonna select accordingly your chart gets updated so this is the way you have used all the six functions for calculation and you have used in your visual part so that you can see whatever my amount going time time by thanks for watching